All right, Priya, let's get back to Dearborn. Pretty special moment just a little while ago as a large group of scouts turned out and saluted the casket of John Dingle at the visitation that's been going on. And this is just one example of how many people saw the nation's longest serving congressman as more than just an elected leader. Paula Tutman back with a look at how Mr. Dingle managed to transcend the title of representative. Paula. Hi, good evening to you. I just want to show you this because this line has been getting thicker by the hour. And, and many of the people we're talking to have a familiarity with Congressman Dingle. They call him by his first name, not out of disrespect or casualness, but truly out of extra respect. A steady stream of people filed past Congressman John Dingle Jr. lying in repose. His wife, Congresswoman Debbie Dingle, never far away. There has been a dingle leading the 15th congressional district since its inception, 92 years ago. Today is a day to say goodbye to the man who held that office the longest, 60 years, serving 29 terms. I love John and Debbie. Debbie is everywhere. She supports all of us, especially MC Township, and I had to be here for her. Yet the people in line rarely say congressperson. The people the Dingles have served are generally on a first name basis with their representatives. And today we stand in the ranks and we celebrate and we say thank you for your service. What John has done to the country, starting when he was 27 joining to the U.S. Congress, all the way up to his life. A legend, there'll never be another one like him. They and always came to our union picnics and our retirement meetings, and they've always treated us like family. And when you hear of the work they did, those who came to say goodbye don't feel like they're honoring just a political icon. But you tend to look at a person as how they carry themselves in just their normal daily lives and their routines. He was just an absolute gentleman. Candace Miller, a Republican who served with John Dingell across the aisle, says goodbye to both statesman and friend. Tell you what, I used to say, John, you could have run for Senate, you could have run for governor. Did you ever want to do that? He said, nah, I'm just a house guy. I'm a house guy. He loved the U.S. House of Representatives. And then remembers the most enduring of his legacies, love. And you know what? John Dingell loved Debbie Dingell. The way he would look at her, if any woman gets that once in their lifetime, they're very blessed. And there's something really extraordinary going on. I want to take you live inside the auditorium, right behind those flowers, right there. That's Debbie Dingle. She has been greeting everyone by hand or hug since 11 a.m. this morning. She takes small breaks and she stops the line because she wants to be able to greet absolutely everyone who has come out to pay their respects. They will be here until 8 o'clock this evening. This is more than just a visitation. This is a greeting and a personal celebration, guys. Really has been beautiful to watch this uh, all, all day long. Really, really touching. Everybody has this personal connection, exactly. Local 4 will televise John Dingle's funeral in Dearborn live on air and on ClickOnDetroit.com. Our coverage begins tomorrow morning.